let's start off this episode yet again with another good level up. And, um, I kind of want to get, yeah, we'll put four points in here to get that to 40. We will put two points in there. And then, uh, two points in there and two points in here. I think that seems pretty good. We're, we're slowly building up our our points. But now we get a new perk, and the next perk I'm going to give is to give myself another 50 kg kilogram capacity. And then I think I'm going to go for the armor rating. I should probably do no, Another 50 will work good, because I'm almost already full. But then we're going to go for the armor rating, which will leave us with one more before we can go to the next tier. Which I think will be... Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do this one right now. The, the, the durability loss... 25% less is actually pretty good. Because I get in a lot of... Yeah, we're doing that. And then the next one will be the carry capacity and then the, the armor rating. Then we'll skip down to tier two. All right. So, I need, well, let me see. Do I have any more? I have no more. Oh, I have the one robot quest. But then we have to do a stranger in a strange land, which is to talk to the town leader, which we will. But first, I want to find, well, actually... We're going to break some stuff down. Because, I mean, while we can sell a lot of this stuff... I mean, which we probably will, but I want to get at least... 50 or so. There we go. And for this... Getting at least 30 would be nice. Well, that's almost 30. And we're, we have 30. Having that extra 50 will help. But for now, I think we're just going to go sell real quick. There's a general store. Sell some of the stuff we have. Get that off of our... Get that off us. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Music to my ears. Yeah, I need to sell, actually. Not really buy. Uh, we have a bunch of junk, which we're going to sell all of it. So we have a total of... Oh, well, we have 5K. Let's see what we have now. We have 6K. That was that was 1,000. That's not bad. Um, do I want any of this? Let's see. I'll go ahead and sell that. Yeah. All right. Is there anything I want to buy? That is like so much. Like it's everything costs so much. Ah, yes, we do want. Yeah, pretty much. Give me all of those. I'll take all of your your health. Oh, that's another thing that we may or may not need. Well. we'll mm, we don't necessarily need a lot of the, uh... Wow. Um... Yeah, we don't, we don't need these. Which gives us a lot of... Because we're not going to be using guns. But we do need stuff like this, which is... Ooh, changes the damage types of the blades. Power attack damage. Ooh, I definitely like that. And that can change. And then we have armor mods, which are pretty good. So, all right, so we're back down to 75, which is which is decent. Um, don't really did we did we really go through a lot of these places? Oh yeah, there's that's that's you. Uh, 
Wish we had some better rations. Just making sure that we didn't miss any Snoopy potential taking of good loots around this town before we start getting overly into it. Oh yeah, I could sell ammo. I didn't think about that, but I mean, we're probably not going to get junk for it, so... Probably when I have a bajillion... Uh, rounds, will it then be like, oh hey, you want to sell it for a hundred? Like, oh yeah, that'd be so fun. No, that's not stealing, is it? No, that's, that's not stealing. I like it when it's considered not stealing, so I don't have to... No, this is this stuff's free. This stuff's just free. Well, okay, why am I sneaking around then? Just give me everything you got. Hit me with your badge. Shout. Nice. Armor parts. Love it. Loving it. Uh, wait, what? Enter a keyword or record, sir. Oh. Young Spacer's Guide. One record found. All right, read open. I sat up last night reading the Young Spacer's Guide. Almost started reading it out loud from habit. It's been ten years, but I still have parts of it memorized. Oh, this is that guy's. This is that guy's computer. The guy that we found it in his. In his uh, his thing. Into Madi left Edgewater today. She's been reassigned to Terra One. I kissed her goodbye at the platform I asked if I'd ever see her again we both know the answer was no I looked up and look up and think of me as I'll look up and think of you uh, Robert they wouldn't let me keep her but I know you will raise her with love perhaps more than I would make time for you're patient and present in a way that I am not and the company says that she says no name until you give her one her name is Pavardi pa yeah Pavad Par Parvati, Parvati, yep. Tell her, they tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. She was actually born on July 7th to make her feel special when I can't. She liked when I sang to her. I was, it was the only time she stopped crying. Oh, this is, that was sad. That was, that was a sad thing. Apparently, a guy couldn't keep, or a mother couldn't keep her kids. She gave it to the dad, and then the, this company's weird, and it's like, hey, you can't keep the kid it's birthday on the day that it's supposed to be because we're freaking weirdos all right into the cannery I do believe unless there is some more doors that we haven't been in which I think we have been in all of them we will go into the cannery we will talk to the head cheese the the main fuzz, the, the the guy, the guy that we need to talk to. Yeah, we've been in here. Been in here. All right, up we go. Time to get some, you know, the grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Yeah, we kind of saw what you're putting in there. It's kind of gross. Uh, actually kind of gross, but hey. Um, Seems we've got a guest. 
Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You're an idiot, aren't you? You're gonna be an idiot. <laughs> I, I can see it coming. You have idiot written all over your idiot face. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. Uh, d d uniform? But what are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots. Company approved colors. The, uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker? Yeah, I, I don't think you really know what's going on here. Um, yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Yeah, I need a regulator for ship go in sky, because that's where ships go. The sky kind, they go into the sky. Following me so far? But I don't have the thing to make it go. Hope you know what I'm talking about. Do you know where I can find one? Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. That would be great. Yeah, fr fry frying myself. I am a good safety inspector, but this frying myself thing, um, what? Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Yeah, I was there. That was the place with the, you know, the people living there, right? That's right. You've been there. Good. That gives me hope. I have nothing against Adelaide and her followers, you see. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Hmm. Why? Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Mm. Yeah, so how can I help that doesn't involve... Well, I mean, just My how can I help? that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Oh, okay. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Uh, but, so I mean, yeah, how, how do I know who that is? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Yeah, these guys must have left for a reason. Do you happen to know the reason? That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Hmm. All right. I'll... Can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want to guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. I mean, sure. 
seeing as that was the one that I just read about with the sad story. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Yeah, I'm going to get going now. Um, we have a companion. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity, which is the best thing they do, in my opinion. And you can unlock some special companion combat skills and stuff like that, which, which we may. I don't know. But the best thing is, and they have perks, is... Uh, the carrying capacity because as you can see I can now hold 130 instead of 120 but wrong button yes the companion ledger you can change companions equipment there um, Get their their helm. They can give them helmets, and you can give them, you know, other stuff. But we have perks that we can give them, and we can increase like if which if they're in the party, they can increase your skills. Uh, they generate less threat. They have more health. Um, me personally, I like, you know, having more engineering will actually be pretty good. Maybe. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's, uh, let's go with that. Because engineering is good. And then we can set them to how they want to, how we want them to to act. Do we want them to stay ranged? Melee? Um, a mix of both. Medium distance away. Aggressive. Defensive. Um, we're going to put them on defensive, which is... Which is fine. Because sometimes when you're in combat, well... You know, we're, we're, you know, I guess we are going to go full on aggressive, I guess. But I think since we're going to be melee, everybody's going to be, <laughs> this is going to go so bad. <laughs> All right. So everybody's going to be melee. And now that we have Pavardi, we can uh, get we can get out of here. So hey, friend, how oh, you look tired? You just look very sleepy. And uh, hey, Mister, can we talk? Sorry. Sure. Can we talk? What's up? Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. Sure. So, uh... So what's the other side of the tale? Yeah, he didn't really strike me as like... You know. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. So, yeah, I mean, the town is... The town has got some issues. How well did you know him? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. 
not any sort of dissident. Hmm. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Yeah, so yeah, why were why were they arguing? Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. Yeah, that's true. We we have to talk. So I can't blame anybody for leaving. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. I, I, yeah. So we, we, uh, I met the vicar. Yeah, he asked me to find a book. Books are for rich folk. I wonder what he wants with something like that. Yeah, suppose suppose we could go talk to him. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Alright, so we need to go speak to the vicar, so we'll head over there real quick. And we have Pavardi, we have our we have a friend. We have a friend who's gonna help us with stuff. I think. Oh. I, I guess we'll find out. Wait, where's where's Max? Maximilian! No, oh, he's over there. Oh yeah, he's in here. So when we come back I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. I mean it's probably because they keep it clean. Do you think maybe that's why? Because they, they keep it clean? Maybe? With this floor that definitely makes sense. And now we need to speak to Max for a couple minutes. But we will do that when we come back. And then from there, I guess we'll head back to the botanical place. Definitely not die. Definitely not die. And then we will see if we're going to either, you know, shut off the power to those people or not. Hmm. Look at the Rorschach chairs. I see an elephant. So when we return, we will do that. We'll talk to the Max, go back to the botanical place, and see, figure out who is going to get shafted. It's going to be really bad, but I guess we'll figure it out. Till then, y'all take care, and of course, have a good one.